There you go. Song of the day. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. <laughs> Another project I got going, and we're gonna do this today, is I am gonna try to vertically grow potatoes. So the theory is that we put them in the tires. All right, so so we uh, it's full of water. So I'm put dirt in here and in this one. We we'll put potatoes in it. And we're gonna cover it, cover them with dirt. So when they poke out the top, we're gonna put another tire on, cover it with dirt, and come up so high. I don't know how far. We'll see where they're at. I know they need to flower in order to grow potatoes. So I don't know. Maybe we'll come up two or three tires, and let them then go to flower. And at the end of the year, and this is space saving. Uh, I suppose you just knock the tires over. And your potatoes are all right here. You don't have to dig them up or anything. I mean, you have to dig them out. But once you knock the tires over, all the potatoes should be right there. That's the theory. So we're going to see how that works. See over there. Okay, I was only going to do one of these, but <sighs> these are just russets. I didn't put any russets in over there. They're all uh, red potatoes, so I am going to put russets in here. Uh, I don't uh, my seed potatoes. Um, they're not they're growing, but I don't know how well. You know, <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how they go from here. I guess. I was going to put them all in there. Why not? Well, what do we got to lose, right? Except for a big hole right there in the middle. Put that one right there. Uh. All right. So I suppose the object is to cover them. And when they start peeking out the top of the hole here, put another tire on and add dirt. For now, we'll leave it like that. And I'll put this tire on here just to get it out of my way. <laughs> All right, so we, I don't know, a month, a month maybe into this, and we've got this, so I'm going to wait for these to get, well, at least the, the depth of the tire or more, and then I'm going to put the tire on, and we'll, we'll heal these. Uh, so uh, I'll say another, because they're starting to shoot up, as you can see right here, this one is shooting up. Uh, this is just an experiment to see, hey, do we... How much will you get in tires? Uh, so how many, how many pounds I'm going to get off a stack of tires? How far up I can go with them? And how well do they grow in there? We will see. Uh, the object is to you, you hill them until they flower. And when they flower, they start to grow the potatoes. And then when they die off, you should harvest them. So right now, this is my project. And those are starting to flower also. And you can see, I'm just standing here where they're at. So they're roughly whatever my knee is high. So we're going to flip a tire out of them, uh, kind of hold them back in here and fill it with dirt. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one, but we're going to record this one. So we are, what did I say today? is June 10th. Today's June 10th. So we're about three weeks out from the last 
the last time we looked at these, uh, you know, they were only this this tall three weeks ago, and now they're they're this tall. So I might put two tires on today. I've been him hawing it, and you know, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, and well, here we are. So I'm only going to keep track of this one because I know there was seven russet potatoes in this one. I don't remember how many I put in the other one, so we're not going to keep track of that one. All right, so the object here was to, I think, put the tire on and I could use a couple more hands. <laughs> this would probably go a lot easier if I had more hands. <clears throat> All right, well, oh, come here, you. Yeah. All right, so. I am going to go get some dirt, and then we'll go from here. Most of it came out, I think. Yeah, well, some of it didn't, but this was the whole plan, was to do it this, this way here. And then uh, make sure they're, they're on, fill it with dirt. I'm kind of skeptical. Uh, I think these are going to hold air and heat. So, but anyways, let me get that dirt. <laughs> so, I, you got to get the dirt in the inside, I guess. I don't know how you go about doing all that, but we're going to just dump it down in the sides until it's full, I guess. So, it's got to go in underneath. <laughs> all right so something i was a little worried about was crushing the sides of those so i'm gonna get some more dirt put it in here we'll see what it looks like and then i'm gonna work on this one this one right here also so all right well i don't have to fill this all the way up but i am going to put some in there so uh, i'm just a little worried about crushing the whole tire wall. Like I said, I was a, a little skeptical on how this was going to work. Uh, a couple things are is how much heat it's going to create with the black rubber. Uh, what about the air pockets being in there? And you notice I went and got the tractor because that whole wheelbarrow fit in there. <laughs> I didn't want to make that many trips. So All right, I expect that to settle some. So, we'll uh, keep track of that, and we'll let you know. And then when we harvest it, I suppose we'll find out exactly how much you can get out of seven potatoes in a stack of tires. <laughs> Verti vertically growing, that is. All right, so here we are, um, September 20th. Uh, as you can see, she died off, um, pretty much dead. <laughs> uh, I pulled all the, the stuff out of here, anything that was green or whatever happened. So 
Uh, I did find potatoes in here at the top. I didn't expect this to work. I assumed that it was just going to grow down there at the bottom. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> it appears I was wrong. So what I'm going to do is just pull this tire off the top here. And then we'll see what's here and work our way down. Uh, I didn't expect this to work. I have... I'm pulling the weeds out of the other one over there. We're not recording that one, but... Uh, these are up at the top. And I did not expect it. Now, those plants aren't, aren't done yet. But these ones are. So, let's see if we can get this off here. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I have... Some little taters, this far in anyways. I got earthworms in here. I have, oh look at that, there's a tater. They're, they're just little tiny ones, I think. Not even a tater. It was a uh, rock. Like, I, I think I killed most of these. Yeah, see, I ain't, I didn't expect this to work, but then I found the potatoes in the other ones. I think it may have worked, but I think I killed them off. So, There's, there's my seed potato with ants living in it. <laughs> there's a, there's a tater there. There's just ants living under it. And I got some potatoes. Not at all what I was kind of expecting. All kind of small. A lot of them are rotten. I think, like I said, I think I killed them off when I when I buried them. We did get some. All right, so <laughs> as you can see, my harvest isn't very great here. Uh, I think maybe I caused some issues with this one. So if these were growing and I covered up the tops and killed them off, I think this one's rotten, I think. No, it's not. So I killed off the tops so they quit growing. This is all you get. So yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I think it'll work. I had my doubts, but we'll see on the next one. All right, so a year ago, I did a potato thing. Yeah, I guess, you know, in, in, in hindsight, it's probably a waste of time. I wouldn't do that again. Too much of a pain trying to get dirt into tires. Uh, you'd probably be better with them if you can see that. Here. So something more like this, and a, maybe a compost or something where you can add to it get it apart later that'd probably work better where they have grow bags you can put them in and maybe use i don't know tomato cages to support the potatoes so right now this is probably the best way to do it for me um <laughs> and i covered this just so they keep the weeds down until the potatoes push up through all this but yeah the, t the tires nah not a good idea it's just not a good idea. <laughs> I did it, it, and I thought it was going to be, eh. can you do it? Yes. Uh, should I have put more effort into it? Y yes. Uh, but, you know, I mean, if that's what you're left with and that's what you can do, I guess, okay, yeah, it could work, but I didn't really put too much watering into it. I think it was uh, probably a waste of time to use the tires. It was hard to get the potatoes out of it later. Uh, like I said, this, this here, or maybe even, say, like, I have a compost pile over there. They're growing out of the side of the compost pile right now for potatoes I thought were rotten. Just growing in the, yeah. So, it doesn't really take a whole lot to grow them. I've seen people use bales of straw. Um, you gotta add a lot of nutrients to that. Uh, you know, so, 
Can you do it? Like I said, yes. Should you do it? Mm, probably not. <laughs> so, so I mean, you know, take it for what you want. It, it is what it is. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. It really wasn't any fun to make. <laughs> it took a long time. I'm a year later now at, in the spring. Uh, I, I did film a lot of it as I went through in other videos and then had to piece it all together. You know, it took you know a whole season to grow that. And then I forgot about it. <laughs> so I'm putting it together now. But yeah, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like to give it a thumbs up, or please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.